and welcome to another one of my builds. This time I'm going to be doing the Dinky 30E breakdown truck. Although it's not going to end up as a breakdown truck because there's quite a bit broken off it. The searchlight and the towing jib's broken off. So I decided to make a flatbed of it because it's quite a nice looking truck one thing that struck me on this one whoever made the casting for Dinky they obviously didn't intend using the truck at night because they never uh, moulded any sort of farmer lighting on it so obviously a daytime use on if vehicle and there's the casting as it starts out as you can see the jibs missing and the searchlight on top of the generator or toolbox whatever it would have been is missing and here comes the caustic sword of bath of doom here we go and there we are a nice fizz and it was quite sedate really, it were all painted more than likely oxidised than stripped it because there were no real flakes of paint in the water the water just changed the colour and here is the casting out of the water showing it in its bare metal form these old dinkies have the advantage you can drop them in in a full bit complete and just get the paint stripped off all the wheels and everything like take the tyres off and bulge like the tyres on this here we go the blub 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 anyway here we go on the wire Wheel of Doom spraying it, um, spraying for God's sake, brushing it up, cleaning off the oxidisation and any rust on the axles. And also on this is then this case, the rubber had turned to a like gooey mess and it had left quite a bit on the wheel rims so that was also stripped off and here we have the casting in its basic now farm what I'm doing here the axles were crimped so I'm just squashing the crimping so I can remove the wheels quite easy really to be honest Good job, because I've got quite a few dinkies to do. I've got fire engines, buzzes, race cars and all sorts to come up. All of the same vintage of this one, I'd say late 40s, 50s. Some maybe even go back pre-war. Because some of them were built pre-war. Whether it's a pre-war issue, or I've got a post-war, I don't know. I'd imagine like many things, they stopped production during the war. And here we have all the basic parts. And now, I think it's about time to remove the rear end. All the tow bar and generator and stuff that's in the back. And at this point, it was a surprise what would have been under it. But as you'll see, once I take it off, there is actually planking moulded on the rear, although I decided to go another way, as will be seen later. And here I'm using my centre pop just to pop the rivet that's holding the rear load on. Well, Reed, I've actually saved it in case I want it for another project. 
Doubtful I will, but it can be useful on this build later. And there I am, just... I drilled through, but it doesn't matter for the idea I was doing anyway. Because... It's basically, you'll see after anyway, no filler was required. And here's the casting afterwards, you can see the planking in the rear. So I'd imagine this one, before they did a breakdown truck, it appeared as a truck on its own, as a flatbed. I've not researched it fully, but if I had a look in Dinky's catalogue at some point, this has been a flatbed without the breakdown truck. Or, if it was a truck on its own, they may have decided it was boring and did the full run with breakdown down truck to make it a bit interesting. Who knows, I'll have to research it better. And here, I'm just going over the planking in the rear with my wire brush on the mini Dremel just to clean it up a little bit. As you can see it's taking the black off and let's be honest that crane body that was on that's not seen the light of day for about well 60 70 years probably maybe more even depending on the year and there we are that's about as much and as far as I'm gonna go oh no maybe a little bit more just in the edges it was an imperative I did this but it was useful that I did just cleaned it up a little bit more and here I decided to just straighten the edges a little really the boards on the edges were a little bent in not really a lot it wouldn't have been that detrimental to the build but hey uh, oh, I did it anyway and here we are there's a ridge right down the middle of the cab roof which I'm sure wasn't there on the original I'm not sure which white truck this was I've not researched it as I say but I think it may have been a Leyland or something it's not a none of the listings I've seen actually mention the maker truck it just says 30E so it was just the model number really so I think it must have just been known in the range as the breakdown truck but here we are using mini files to just smooth away the ridge on the cap and as you do it you get the little divots as well so I filed them down smooth till the divots in it disappeared so I got a nice smooth roof which looks a lot better after uh, once paint goes on but it's looking a lot better there to be honest and here I'm just going over it with wire wool just giving it a quick scrub to clean up all the oxidisation etc that had got on it especially in the rear there not so much over top because I've just filed that down and here I'm using Humbrow gloss the good old fashioned maroon that's in the range for the wheels some of the colours in the Umbrow range match although I don't have a lot nowadays I'll probably buy a few of the glosses but Here we are doing another wheel. It just looks so nice, that maroon, in honesty with what I do 
with the truck later it matches up well looks really nice on it and here is the body going into primer it's already been coated but I'll give it another coat because I hadn't pressed the button on the camera to record so it got an extra coat so I could record it but hey, I've done it no harm really And there we go, that's the coating on. Thought, nope, give it another quick and for camera. Right, and then, no, oh no, back again. Must be going this time. There we are, I've gone this time. But here, I'll be coming on for the colour coat. which I've decided to do it uh, closer green as possible to the original which I mixed my own colours up the original was more of a oh it was a 40s colour and I call it acidic green you got a lot of houses that were painted in that in certain areas it were a very popular 40s colour so I'd say at a rough guess it's possibly a 1940s truck this one but may well expand into the 50s but anyway it's one of the very early dinkies and here we are just painted in black mug guards as they did back then giving it a nice appearance and gradually coating it in if you can hear the it's me breath I forgot to switch the volume down on me video was I was doing the voiceover so you may pick it up you may not and here I'm just putting silver on the radiator well grill it had been the radiator surround the radiator had been inside it and just getting nice crisp lines as much as I can and that's about half of it done and here we go on to I decided to do something a bit different out of my way because I was scrapping the rear end the plan all along that's why it didn't matter why, whether I drilled through or not I was going to be making a wooden planking back end out of wood so it didn't really matter if I went through or not and there we are basically nearly cut out going down the other side and here we are cutting it out last little bit and it should be done now come on get out get out there we go I'm just test fitting it here and I had to blow it out a few times through the hole underneath before I got it because it was a very very snug fit here I'm just marking on I'm scribing down the wood to mark on planks because I'm going to be giving it a wash after to bring out the detail and with me scribing the planks on here we are doing the wash it'll make the separate planks stand out I mean you can even go a bit further to like put make it look like an old bed and put staining on and 
stuff and random stains like stuff's been spilt in the bed but here I tried wood glue first which seemed a reasonable suggestion P PVA and it it's one of them that should have worked but because it was thin wood and it had been stained it actually swollen and curved up so I took the glue off and ended up super gluing it later on anyway here we are putting the tyres on bought a new set of tyres for it well I bought a bag of tyres if I'm honest and here I am putting the super glue on and on the rear of the planking I wet it with zip kicker so as soon as it hits that bed it'll stick and here we are showing the finished article looking rather pretty with all its new paints and new flat bed and etc etc all cleaned up it's looking good but I mean it still looks good like this but if you look at it them lights if they'd have moulded lights into it somewhere I feel it would really set off the casting but as it is it looks really good for one of the early castings and I think I may well get the total up version to restore at some point but anyway been a pleasurable build if you've enjoyed please subscribe even better press the bell for notifications and I'll catch you on my next video goodbye for now